Hello friends, this week the chapter 9 of the Baki manga has been released and in this video we are going to analyze it. It's important to mention that this will be the last chapter of the year as at the Gaki will take a break for the rest of the month due to the festive dates. Most series will also have a long break until January, so this is not an isolated case. The good news is that this chapter will be the last before the highly anticipated fight between Kosho Shinagi and Jack Hanma begins. It is most likely that in the next chapter we will see the entry of both fighters into the underground arena. But well, without further delay, let's start with the review of this chapter. On the first page, we can see the inside of a gym where the martial artist Kosho is conducting his training. With an incredible display of strength, Kosho holds his entire body weight solely with the strength of his fingers. As expected, his training is focused on strengthening his fingers, which are his main weapon in combat. Elsewhere at the gym, Dr. Korha watches his younger brother's intense training closely. Kosho has been in this training regimen for hours, as evidenced by the intense sweat covering his body. Suddenly, he makes a quick movement that changes the posture of his torso and legs, but without ceasing to support all his weight on his fingers. This training not only strengthens his fingers but also his entire body, especially subjecting his abdomen to great tension. Then he changes position again, this time supporting all his weight on the fingers of his right hand, demonstrating not only great strength but also notable balance and control over his center of gravity. With his legs suspended in the air, he maintained total immobility. His body did not tremble at all, looking like a statue in that unaltered position. Focused on muscle tension and the alignment of his limbs, he achieved perfect balance throughout his body. Then, he switched to an even more challenging pose, looking up at the ceiling of the gym, with one foot extended forward and the other backward, supporting all his weight with just three fingers of his right hand. This demonstration impressed his brother, who watched silently with total concentration. Suddenly, Kosho executed a quick one-handed jump. The surprising thing was that he did it using only those three fingers, managing to turn his body in the opposite direction. Kosho says that he had finished his warm-up and was ready for the main training. Korha commented that it looked more like professional gymnastics training, with the difference that gymnasts use both hands, not just three fingers. Kosho replied that this was because contemporary martial artists often avoid this type of training, but having the flexibility of a gymnast is crucial in hand-to-hand -in -hand combat. Korha fell silent, listening to his brother. Kosho seemed very calm and well-prepared, as if he had dedicated hours to analyzing the fighting style of Jack Hanma. Kosho expressed his perception of his opponent, describing him not as an athlete or martial artist, but rather as a wild beast with an advanced intellect. It's as if you put the brain of a martial artist with years of experience into a bear. He knows he will not face an opponent with a body similar to his own, this time, he will fight a beast with an innate intellect. Kosho appears to have a clear understanding of his rival. He is aware of Jack's danger, but knows he has some tricks up his sleeve that could help him win. However, Koraha, who believed he knew Jack better, remains worried, knowing that he is not the same as in that underground tournament. Now he is a man with a completely transformed mindset. Koraha expressed his concern to Kosho, urging him to ensure his survival above all in the combat. Aware of the risk of facing Jack due to his fighting style, Korha assured Kosho that he shouldn't worry about injuries, promising that as a doctor, he would do everything possible to heal him. Kosho thanked him but assured he wouldn't need such help. He was confident in coming out unscathed from the combat. Korha, smiling, admitted he expected that response from his brother and wished him good luck. The scene changes location, and now we see the Tokyo Dome the imposing coliseum that houses the underground arena. In Mitsunari's mansion, Hanada converses with the elderly man about the upcoming confrontation between Jack Hanma and Kosho Shinagi. Hanada reflects on how a knife in the hands of an expert martial artist can change the odds against a wild beast. He says that a knife would be useless in the hands of a novice, but in the hands of a martial artist with years of experience, it becomes a complement to ensure victory. The chapter ends with a note announcing a hiatus of the manga until January due to the end-of-year festivities, promising its return with a color cover next year. Well friends, I know many of you were expecting to see the continuation of what happened in the previous chapter with Jack and Yujiro. Unfortunately, it seems it was just a brief encounter, and there was no more interaction between them. It is likely that after a while, the two went their separate ways. 
I too was excited to see more interaction between these two, but it seems that what we saw in Chapter 8 is all we will have for a long time. It would be great if Yujiro went to watch the fight between Jack and Kosho. We haven't seen him in the role of an observer in a significant fight for a long time. Although it would be a challenge, it's not impossible, but we must remember that if he wasn't present at the duel between Baki and Musashi, it would be strange for him to attend the one between Jack and Kosho, whom he probably considers much less interesting than Musashi. Anyway, I hope that this battle attracts renowned fighters and that they share their views on this exciting confrontation. As for the fight, everything indicates that it will start in the next chapter, which will be released in January. Initially, this confrontation didn't capture much of my interest, especially because Kosho had been absent from action for a while, and it seemed to me that he had fallen far behind in terms of power. However, as the plot has progressed, my perception of this fight has changed. On one hand, we have Kosho, who since his return has been seen in his best physical and mental state. He has evolved his cutting technique, and now he is not limited to just harming his opponent's nerves, he is now capable of cutting almost anything using his fingers as sharp blades. From what was seen in this chapter, it's clear that Kosho has been practicing gymnastics a lot. According to his words, this is to develop greater flexibility that helps him handle complicated situations where he is overpowered by the strength and size of his opponent. Obviously, this training has been specifically developed for his fight against Jack. He knows that Jack greatly surpasses him in size and physical strength, which is why he was forced to step out of his comfort zone to learn new techniques that could help him against this formidable opponent. I also like the way Korha cares about his brother. He wanted to warn him about Jack and the danger he represents, but he respected his stance as a fighter and only asked him to make sure he returns alive. It's interesting that someone like him thinks this way, remember that he knew Jack very well, but now it seems he knows nothing about him as if he were a completely new man with an enigmatic mentality. On the other hand, Jack seemed less worried about the fight. In fact, when he went to eat at Mitsuneri's house, he was asked several questions about it as Mitsuneri wanted to know his opinion on Kosho. Jack evaded most of the questions, showing a carefree attitude, and simply limited himself to saying that he indeed knew Kosho, but it was a long time ago. This attitude from Jack seems to indicate that he does not consider Kosho a real threat, it's as if he sees him merely as a warm-up for his future encounters. I hope I'm wrong and that Jack doesn't have this mindset. Otherwise, it's very possible that he will be in for a big surprise when he faces the new Kosho, who has developed a fighting style specifically to stop him and counter his powerful bite. Anyway, I would like to know your opinion regarding this upcoming fight. Do you think Kosho's new fighting style will be effective against Jack and his dangerous bite? Also, tell me if you think Jack is being overconfident by not taking a skilled fighter like Kosho seriously. I just hope that this will be a great fight. It would be awesome to start this new arc of the manga with a battle that will be remembered for a long time. Leave your opinion of this chapter in the comment box and tell me who you think will win this fight. Do you think Kosho stands a chance against the cyborg Jack Hanma? And well friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.